Hello everyone, this is the Bissonier back with another video and as you can see this is a game of me playing Mr. Mime and as you will be able to tell in a few seconds if you weren't able to tell already, this is a game that I had played earlier. This isn't a game from recently, this is a game from a little while back but I had it saved so thought I would share it. This is an older game of mine, pretty solid game if I remember correctly. I don't remember everything but I remember it was pretty decent. It looks like I'm struggling a little right now. I'm watching this in 1.25 times speed by the way, so yeah, that's why it's a little bit faster than usual. But yeah, this is an older game of Mime and I thought I would share this because Mime got buffed in the most recent balance patch, specifically Power Swap got buffed, and Power Swap is kind of nutty right now. I highly do recommend using it because, uh, at least if your team needs a healer, right? If your team needs a healer and you want to play a, you know, unique type of healer, Power Swap Mime does do a lot of healing. But I wanted to make this video because Mime is pretty dang good even without Power Swap. Like if you want to play Mime for its CC, for that confusion, for that barrier, I feel like this video is just a pretty good example of how you can play those moves. Barrier and confusion are so dang fun. It's such a unique type of Pokemon, unique style of playing a Pokemon. The ability to put barriers and trap opponents is just so unique and works so well and it can be utilized very efficiently. There you go, you see that stun with that confusion? That's just a solid example. You just need to use your environment and if you can't use the environment like the walls that are around the map, you create your own walls like that one against the Greninja and then slam them with your confusion. Just nice KOs like that, or I mean not KOs, but nice stuns and eventually can lead to KOs, especially if you're stacking. which. I still do recommend stacking Mime. I stack Mime even with Power Swap, even with uh, Confusion, whatever I'm using. I think Mime's scaling with special attack specs is just so solid. So, highly do recommend using the, what is it called, special attack specs for stacking. As for items, I'll have to check. I don't actually remember. I don't think I have it saved, <laughs> the items that I was using in this game, so. Unfortunately, don't think I can tell you what items I was using. I was stacking, I know that for sure. And I can check, but I don't know for sure on the other items. Look at that, that's stun. Half HP on the Nailscrod, or like 45% of its HP in one move. Then trap the opponents behind a barrier, stun the Greninja who's chasing. It's just, it's clockwork, right? You just do one thing and that one move leads to the next one, and then I remember missing that. That's, I do remember that one. So, you just need to pair your moves like that, and you can honestly completely overwhelm the opponents like that. Okay, oh, there, bite the Absol. So I just thought I'd share this. Not the best Unite there. <laughs> uh, so if I popped the Greninja at that, might have been decent. But it worked out because Zero Aura was there, right? See? Even barrier stuns, that's something else that people forget. If you place a barrier next to an opponent, it does stun them for a very, very brief second, and that's enough. As you saw, that Zero Aura was able to capitalize on that, get that easy double KO there, so. Pretty useful, and since I've stacked up so much, I'm almost one-shotting these ball toys. I don't think I'm fully stacked, I don't know if I am. Unfortunately, cannot see that on this on this screen through this. Does Sylvia manages to escape? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> and now we're just going up top here. Defending against the Aleki. Stun them with the... Barrier into confusion, holy, there's so much happening right now. <laughs> we're able to defend though, we're able to defend. And I did save this game because I remember the ending was a bit intense and kind of crazy. Spoilers, actually I might as well say it. I probably should have said it earlier, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure we do lose Rayquaza in this game. So, yeah, I, I do remember it was rough. Oh, I actually got killed there, dang. Did we get this? We do get the slides. Let's go, Trevenant. Nice, okay. Teammates are putting in the work. Zero Aura scoring 29. I think, yeah, I was gonna say they're probably gonna get killed there. Long death timer. Thankfully, it's only three minutes, so it's fine. Look at this. Defender, defender against defender supporter. We obviously couldn't see Blastoise was in that bush. We can see it right now because of this camera, but <laughs> in the game we couldn't tell. Otherwise, definitely would have chased after him. Team's going for a lucky. Guess that's fine. It's 
probably good. Didn't even realize we have Fluffy Tail, but apparently we do. It's probably walks. Opposing team gets the bottom Reggie. That was a pretty decent overdunk. Not bad at all. Alright, here we go. That's I was forced to use my knight. Definitely not the best positioning. Worked out because Absol was there. Ooh, ooh, I need to base. <laughs> Scary. Scary stuff. Uh-oh. Yanskar is probably gonna KO our teammates. Absol with the Unite to survive. And KO. I'm running in. Here we go. Nice. My position here is not good. I was gonna say, look at that. They just both turn on me. Oh, yep, that's another thing. Definitely should have united into the wall on the left there. Or not united, use my confusion to the wall on the left there to stun the Sylveon. Didn't do that. Oh wow, I don't remember all of the opponents being up. They have five opponents up. Five Rayquaza shields. This is gonna be crazy. Did we actually win this? Now I'm confused. Ah, there we go. Barrier into the surf, stopping that. Confusion to stun. They eject to try and get that goal in. Break the shield though, looks like bot lane were able to mess with that Sylveon too. My almost scores 100. Sylveon's... I mean that shield's been gone for a while. And now we're just defending, kind of? Oh, we know scoring. Will they get it? I doubt it, no. Oh my gosh, they have score shield. <laughs> they have score shield. Oh no, Mammo! Okay, Mammo doesn't score. Did we win? Did it matter because of that? Oh my gosh, we won. 493, 271. Okay, so that actually didn't matter because it would have been 393, but dang. Look at that. I, yeah, not a lot of damage, not the craziest amount of damage, but I feel like I still had a decent impact on the game. You know, tanking hits, doing a good amount of damage, lots of stuns, which really matters in this game. So yeah, if you're kind of bored of power swap or you want something other than power swap, power swap's kind of hard to land. Barrier Confusion is super fun. Highly recommend trying it out if you want a different way to experience Unite. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will be there in the next video. Cheers!